Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Join me today for a look at my Winnie the Pooh book collection and I'll be doing a flip through of my junk journal and uh, we'll be doing a little journal with me session as well, creating a couple layouts. Now, let's have a look at my little stash here. If you are a fan of Winnie the Pooh books, keep watching. The first one has a very um, sentimental value to me. It is my eldest daughter's first book as you can see the wear and tear on the spine she started reading this at six months old and just loved it so i'm keeping this forever and giving it to her in the future for her future family and then the next one here is a heffalump book the girls uh, grew up watching the movies of winnie the pooh so i love the illustrations in this book look at this writing spot here at the front where you can put a dedication or journal spot and then we have these beautiful just varied uh, illustrations of Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin so I love that book I have another smaller book here and it's Winnie the Pooh and the Bees um, I bought it from Half Price Books for a dollar now here at the top you will see the sticker I tried to take it out but just didn't come off. Again, love the illustrations inside this booklet. I love it and it's a great collector's item at least for me. I'm not going to use this for my junk journaling. It's too precious so I am going to keep this in my collection. So love these cute uh, illustrations. Now this uh, next book was a recent purchase from Savers, got it for $1.29. It is a newer book, but I really love, again, the pictures and the story. And here's Piglet and Winnie. Super cute. Let me just show you what the pages look like inside. So here we have Owl's Trip to the South is the story. And so many endearing images are included in this cute little booklet for $1.29, not bad. The next one is my very first encyclopedia and my kids love this. Uh, my daughter Lil is already a senior so she's outgrown this book. But Emmy's enjoyed reading this and she loves animals. Look at that cute piggy and we have so many fun pictures here. So this has been a um, resource book for me. I've pulled out a few pages from here. Love this one. And used it for my junk journal. So you will uh, definitely see that as I flip through later. Now this next book is a new buy. Again, I showed it in my book haul. I love the Mickey Mouse um, pictures here and just fun super fun story it's a great read and for a winnie the pooh collector and fan i think you will enjoy this book so definitely gonna keep this in my collection not gonna use it for junk journaling another one here that i like is the parent's guide and again love this image with the shadow of winnie the pooh and piglet we have him with the honey up there. I, these, uh, this one I might use as a resource book like the My First Encyclopedia and use it for a future junk journal I'll be making. So I'll think about that but that is something I will consider. Now I'm going to show you the last book which was a wonderful find at our local library sale. I think I got this two years ago and it is in the world of the world of Christopher Robin and look at this cover it is so pretty again beautiful illustrations I just love this uh, there's a note here from some grandparents who had given this to their grandchild saying it was their parents um, book when they were kids I thought I'd keep that note it looks like it was published in the mid 50s and are republish um, and then we have the copyright there so it's filled with so many stories here and I'll be showing you also uh, some images of Winnie which are here you see him and there are some pages that are in color 
look at that that's so cute so uh, the images with colors are somewhere here here we go I love this Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh look at the colors on that page I just love this book and I think this book was a dollar at the library sale so I was super super happy to find it and it is in great condition so here's another colored page more Pooh Bear photos or drawings there and again another great read so I'm excited um, to read more of what's in this book I've only read a few of the other stories there so still exploring that now let's have a look at a little flip through of my Winnie the Pooh junk journal for the cover of my junk journal I used a uh, board book for the front and back and I've used an eyelet trim here for our closure on the left hand side I've also um, attached some lace and decorated it with yellow and blue florets that I got from Daiso and then some lace it says hello sunshine I think of Winnie and I think of warm thoughts and cuddly moments so I've used some quilt uh, to line the pay, uh, the cover and there is a side pocket on the front and back here it holds a little journal card with one of my favorite favorite um, little pages with the saying here and we see Piglet and Winnie in the back I am going to be putting a picture so I haven't journaled in this uh, junk journal uh, I've just had it on my shelf finally uh, getting around to using it and I am decided I'm gonna use it for some childhood my favorite childhood memories for my kids that I can post here we have this cute envelope that Terry gave me and a beautiful card she made um, if you'd like to see the happy mail she sent me I'll put the link and here is a little sticky notepad put some butterflies at the top there here's another beautiful card Terry made me Thanks so much, Terry. And here is a cute little note card she had included in that Happy Mail, so I want to keep it in this journal. And I've just put some stationery so that if I ever want to write something, I can use it and put it in this little pocket. We have some pink lemons, um, music sheet, and then we have some pages from that encyclopedia. Look how cute Eeyore is looking over Winnie's shoulder. Here we have little peekaboo pocket with um, some of these cute Winnie the Pooh items as well and that little flash card and I can definitely journal on that as well and then on there we have Tigger and Winnie under the tree it's a sticker super cute here we have a flip out more pages from the encyclopedia I added some of the stickers Terry gave me as well in here and here's a beautiful stationary envelope I got from Daiso. I can put something in there. You can see a heart window on the envelope, so that is so cute. Over here I used, this is from a label or a packaging from a Daiso uh, item that I had purchased. And here I just love the fall leaves and Winnie just drinking his honey. It's just so cute. I have some of this uh, bag, clear bag, that I'm using as a pocket. And this uh, little tag reminds me of the heffalump with the elephant there. You I can also use it to put some pictures. This little paper bag is uh, from the Happy Mail Terry had sent me as well, so I wanted to use it as a little pocket. We have the scarecrow put some pictures on there, Eeyore and some falling leaves. We have Rue running after a butterfly, Tigger, super cute, some grid paper. We have Piglet, just fun pages that um, I have some old pages from workbooks that the kids are no longer using. And then we have Rabbit over here. Now th these were also pages from a storybook and then I have some random pages from a little workbook here i have some of the string that i'm going to attach maybe a little dangle on 
Still trying to decide what to put there. A little writing worksheet, math worksheet. A little yellow envelope with a pocket. So as you can see, it's not completely decorated yet. Um, but it'll be fun to fill these books with just fun memories and more like a throwback kind of journal. So I love this page. This butterflies. Some coloring. And cute little picture. So many pages that I can definitely use and fill up. So we're coming towards the end of my little journal, there's Rabbit. Another cute little uh, side pile. I will stitch another signature there probably in the future if I need to add more. We have some sticky notes and some um, stationery from Terry that I have that I'm putting there so I can use them. So now let me uh, create a couple page layouts. I've pulled out and printed a few pictures that I'm excited to include here, here's my daughter Lil when she was six months old reading that Winnie the Pooh little board book. Um, I want to save that other page for another picture. So I'm going to work towards the front. I did see a page that would probably work best with these two photos that I completely adore. And I think this one will be great. But first I'm going to create a little tab. I have some scraps here. And I think I'm going to go with the polka dot and use the scallop punch to create that. Also going to add this Winnie, uh, Winnie's image here from a little scrap I got from the encyclopedia page. I don't know about you guys, but when I've used this punch on thinner paper, it gets stuck. So I always put it over scrapbooking paper so it doesn't fall apart. So now I'm going to glue this on our little scallop punch and attach it, creating a cute little tab. Now in hindsight, I, I should have changed the orientation of how Winnie was. Like he should be facing up instead of have him on the side there. That's okay. Now I want to cover up, let's see, um, the ants in the background. So I think that's a perfect place to put my daughter Lil's adorable picture. Now I also want to create a background and I think this stationary sheet uh, from Daiso would be perfect. Now I want to be able to write on the back. So what I'm going to do is put one of the fo photos underneath and just create a hinge here so that I can flip it over and write on it. So I'm going to use some double side tape and just trying to see which photo to put wear on top so love this Daiso uh, double side tape we are just going to put that on and now add this cute little photo I have so many uh, pages and pictures uh, that I've scrapbooked but when I was looking through my files it was amazing to see that there were still a good number of good uh, pictures that I haven't reprinted and so I thought this was a great opportunity to print them out and just document them. And I think my kids will love to see this in the future. So now I'm just laying that photo on top. And we have a little background there. Now I can write. At the top there, I'm going to add some polka dot orange washi just to complement Tigger's color and just to add a little more color on top of that photo. So I'm just laying that down in a yeah more straighter fashion and trim that. And so we have just created our first page layout. So now I'm going to go back to my butterfly page and create the next one. And this time I want to put this adorable picture of my youngest daughter, Emmy. And this was when we went, uh, she was uh, almost two. We went to Disneyland and um, she met Rabbit and her expression was just priceless. So I think this is an awesome picture to add to this journal. It was my daughter Lil's ninth birthday and her wish was to go to Disneyland. And we finally got to take them there, hoping to take them back now that they're older. 
I'm adding a picture, a little bubble note there. And it says, love this. So now I want to include a little journal card. I have this little cute card here. And so I've cut that little uh, plastic, little Winnie the Pooh bag and created a little pocket, put some washi. And now I'm just putting some double side tape so I can put it on our page. And now we have a pocket. So I'm going to do a little punch over there and create a little pull by putting a ribbon on top. So cute little pink ribbon and just adds a little more embellishment. Put it in our Winnie the Pooh pocket. I've also left that side open so I can tuck a picture or a ticket. And that is it. We have our cute little layouts. I'm going to continue journaling in here. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my mini collection and this junk journal flip through. Join me again soon for other journal with me uh, sessions. I'll see you again next time. Bye!